Former First Lady Rosalind Carter will be laid to rest today in her hometown of Plains, Georgia. Her husband, former President Jimmy Carter, attended today's service at the church, and he was also at yesterday's tribute service in Atlanta. These are his first public events since he entered hospice care back in February. President Joe Biden, former President Bill Clinton, and every living former First Lady also attended yesterday's service. A motorcade is currently taking Rosalind Carter's casket to the Carter family home for her private burial service. NBC News correspondent Blaine Alexander is following it all for us from Plains, Georgia. Uh, Blaine, we mentioned just a moment ago that former President Jimmy Carter was once again at today's service. Can you sort of walk us through what else we've seen thus far today? Well, Morgan, that really was just the most striking thing. When we saw the motorcade pull in here at Maranatha Baptist Church, and we saw um, before the former president was wheeled out of the vehicle he was in, his family getting at it, almost surrounding him. You kind of saw it as they were walking in that video you just showed. But it really was such a moving yes. moment to see the 99-year-old former president surrounded by his family. It was almost as if they were kind of acting almost as a shield or a barrier between the many media cameras and the former president as he was being wheeled in. So we saw that and then of course the poignant moment afterwards uh, when his wife, his life partner of 77 years, her casket was carried out and he was wheeled out immediately following her. So I think when you watch those two moments and then just think about the location where this is. This is their church. This is the church where they were longtime active members and I have to say active because they were teaching Sunday school uh, up until just a few years ago when they had to stop because of COVID. And so certainly when you look at all of the many uh, celebrations of life that have been shown for her over the past three days. This, because this is their hometown of Plains, the place where they met, where they spent so much of their lives, this certainly is very poignant, Morgan. Can we talk a little bit about uh, Mrs. Carter's legacy, Blaine? Because, I mean, she was really known for championing a lot of, of women's rights issues. She was also a strong mental health advocate. Can we talk a little bit about what happens next, about how her legacy sort of continues? And certainly mental health. I think that's been one of the biggest things that we've heard repeatedly over the past 10 days since she passed away, just how much of a champion she was and really how instrumental she was in kind of bringing it to the forefront, making it something that was destigmatized and talked about at a time when it wasn't necessarily done. Uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time at the Carter Center over the past few months, too, and speaking with the CEO there, Paige Alexander, and she talks about the fact that the Carters were very heavily involved in the day to day. They wanted to know updates on things that were being worked on. They wanted to know different causes that they could get into. And so when I spoke with Paige about kind of how her legacy is carried forward, she said exactly that. She said, we're inspired by everything that she poured in while she was here with us. We're inspired by the things that she kind of put her hands on and very much inspired to keep moving forward with that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.